Welcome back. I'm in London. And this uh, nice airport hotel here. But uh, this is quite... Uh, I've been here for a month. In and out of London because uh, I returned to London to, for a month of work. And that's finishing today. And uh, I wanted some makes. I wanted to make some money before continuing my travels. So here are the some nice private jets. That's the Luton Airport over there. So yeah, this is my routine. I come whenever I come to London, I stay here at this hotel. You know, if I have to attend meetings. And rest of the time, I mean, spending a lot of time in Krakow, Poland. So today is uh, the last day of my work. I got just got to return this work laptop then uh, I will be on my way hey so I haven't really decided where to go next so really deciding to on flight right now got my covid pass and insurance document just in case some countries do require that all done all cleaned up here ready to be returned I think so that's my laptop All right, I gotta travel to central London to drop off my laptop. I think I have an idea where to go next. So this is Luton Airport Parkway Station. This is where you get the, the, the train to. Easiest way to get to central London, St. Pancras. Oh, it's so quiet and calm and peaceful. This is my most frequented part of London over the last few years because of the airport. There are some really good budget airlines like EasyJet and Viseir. Used to be really cheap before the pandemic, but now it's not like now not that cheap. People, because there aren't much restrictions these days, they are actually traveling to places, bring the prices up. Before, I used to travel between Poland and London for like four pounds, and plus uh, luggage, probably like 20 pounds, 20, 24 pounds, including the seats. I used to travel between Poland and London very frequently because it was cheaper to go there than to travel around in uh, London. Oh, here comes a fast train. My train should arrive any minute. I have to get to the office to drop the laptop off like before 4.30. Still have like a good two and a half hours and some errands to run. Visit my storage if possible, get some documents and uh, put some stuff there, get some stuff from there. And also, if I want to go where I want to go, where I'm thinking to go, I need to book my tickets very soon and be at London Heathrow around six o'clock, I think. So I don't have much time. All right, a few minutes late, but it's here. Harry Potter station though, it's just right next door. So this is where all the Eurostar trains depart from. You can see Paris Amsterdam through the English Channel. But it's been a while I've been here. So that's the King's Cross station, that one. Need to get over there. Let's use this uh, escalators.
looks like it's gonna rain pretty soon. So this is like the uh, one of the most expensive and fanciest areas in London, central London. Most of the financial institutions like banks and stuff, they're also around here. That is a famous St. Paul's Cathedral. So my work, if I were to work at in, uh, in an office, this building is where I would work. It's uh, one of the offices in this building. It's a pretty happening area actually. All the tourists, there's so many tourists come here to for uh, St. Paul's and other. Bank is near. Uh, South Bank is also near. So, so many attractions nearby. British Museum is there for a wedding or something. Someone is getting married. There is also a barbershop here, which I usually come to. I don't usually get barber uh, haircuts. I used to in London, but I don't anymore. But uh, the best haircuts that I get are usually here. Oh, I've been here only once. Forgotten the place actually, where my office is. Hello, hi. I'm dropping my laptop off. Yeah. Here's me returning it. <laughs> it's a GoPro. It's a GoPro. So what's it doing? Has it? Has it? Look, I've got one of these. Have you? <laughs> I take travelling and stuff. So when you, so you, this is so you charge it up like a phone, and then it's not yeah. battery driven. It's so if you you can walk around it. So if anybody attacks you, you can say and and. Yep. It's oh, people have them on their um. Yeah, I vlog a bit, so, so it's. Oh, uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, let me give you the. Uh, yeah. But, um, slide the helmet. I was just. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's not it. That's the cable. Thank you. And it's 96 watts. All right. Cool. Okay, that's the one for that. Thank you. <laughs> it's a big laptop, so it needs yeah. more power. Thank you for that. It's just you two here. Wow, well, it's pretty quiet today. Yeah. yeah. Still, uh, why, why aren't people more people working from home? <laughs> well, yeah. do you know what? The, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is busy, but then... This must be Mary, right? That's who knows! That's why they don't want to be home. Or girlfriends. Or boyfriends. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thank you, bye. Bye. Please mind the door. Excuse me. Well, let's see if I can squeeze in a haircut. I still haven't booked my flight, so three. I should be really at the airport by now, because the flight I'm supposed to leave leaves at six o'clock. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to catch it if I am able to. I'm going to get a haircut here. I do want to go to the bank as well. Some bank stuff to do. So. HSBC is somewhere near here, so I've been told. There is a funny address line. All right, I took a wrong turn on my uh, way to bank, and uh, that is London Bridge over there. It's not the fancy bridge that you see in, uh, in the photos, that's Tower Bridge. London Bridge is simply that one. This is one of the iconic buildings here. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. What the hell? <laughs> there appears to be a long queue in front of it for some reason. I think it's uh, for the rooftop rooftop bar. It's one of the markets around this area. I don't know what it's called. Leaden Hall. If that's the right way to say it. Now you know what is my. Uh, where my love for the buildings come from. May do you know if there's an HSBC around? I don't know the area, sorry. <laughs> right, okay. Sorry. Well, I learned uh, one important lesson around this area today. Don't trust Google Maps. <laughs> it doesn't work. I've been walking around this area for about 20 minutes now. 
I was supposed to go to that building, but it took me all the way around. It's probably because of the GPS doesn't work here properly. Not the map's fault. That uh, signals probably can't get through because of this uh, concrete monstrosities. Flaming. Yeah. It's not as it's not as hurtful. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's not, pain, <laughs> it's not painful. Maybe I remove. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. This is stupid. How am I doing? Are you in the frame? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Stress. Yeah. <laughs> Corona stress. <laughs> Corona stress. <laughs> uh, this, is my, this, is, this is my favorite part. <laughs> yes. To get a haircut and massage like this, I have to go to Turkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, cousins. And have you been in Hamam, Turkish bar? Uh, I haven't properly done it, but I have done a mini version of it, a tourist version of it. Oh, really? Yeah. I hear it's, uh, you know, you, gotta, you have to get fully naked, right, for that? Yeah. <laughs> so I was a bit scared. <laughs> this gentleman have kindly made me handsome Thank you. for today. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Great job, I've been coming here for years, so great job. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Nice to meet you. All right. Hey, hold on. Cheers. All right, okay. So that's uh, haircut done. I managed to... Ted Baker, they do have like a chain of haircut and hair salons all around. But this one is the uh, has the best barbers, in my opinion. Now let's have something to eat here. Sometimes I find that I do actually spend less money in London in terms of like food and stuff like that because you have this fast food, you know, not as bad as McDonald's but eatable food. This came around like a little over 11 pounds. This, I don't know, it's not rice but it's a wash, wheat something. I also find that it'll be even more in Southeast Asia these days. Plans didn't go according to the plan. I mean, things didn't go according to the plan. I am sleep deprived. It's uh, four o'clock, 3.30 in the morning here. My plan was to fly to Paris and take a long flight to Southeast Asia. My first flight was canceled and there is one departing from a different uh, airport. I'm just uh, waiting for an Uber from, from an airport to airport transfer. I'm in uh, Hong Kong after a long Very early here. I think it's like 6:30 or something, if I'm not mistaken. I already forgotten that what it feels to be feels to wear this mask. It's been a month and a half that I've been in uh, Europe, and there, there are no mask restrictions there. So feels a bit weird again, having to wear masks all over again. Not a lot of shops are open. Just the Starbucks is open. Some ham, tomato thing. All right, after about three days of travel or more, I'm here. I don't know if you can guess where I am. Probably you have already guessed. I'm in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. It's my first time. I'm in my hotel. I'm probably going to sleep. I was actually thinking of going out, um, but I'm really, really tired. I haven't had any sleep for like two days. So um, this is a hotel. I'll just give you a quick overview. This is like 30 pounds a night, but uh, not bad at all. You have a TV. You have a some sort of like a city view kind of situation going on here. Let's see. Oh, could be cleaner. Ooh, look at this glass. That needs to be wiped down. Oh yeah. 
We need to wipe these things down. Huh? Here. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go get some sleep. And depending on when I wake up, it's actually already late, I think. No, it's only five o'clock, but it's cloudy and it's gonna rain probably. So I spent a bit of time in Jakarta airport. I was trying to figure out the grab situation right there, over there. It took me about like an hour to find a grab driver because people would, uh, drivers would accept it and then ask me to cancel it. it. Took about 40 minutes from the airport. If you ever come here, you can actually go to the uh, pickup spot and there are like grab people and most of them don't speak English, the grab drivers here. But the grab people that st who stand there, they do actually speak English. Oh, the, my first flight was cancelled, EasyJet one, and I stayed overnight at the airport. EasyJet is refunding me the money and also I get compensation from, according to EU laws, like about 250 euros. And also the price of the new flight, which I booked with Air France to Paris, that also will get reimbursed. Any, any food? I was actually, the initial plan was to go to Paris and show you around Paris a little bit, stay overnight there and take the flight next day to here the next day. But that plan didn't work out. This is the next day, I'm having my breakfast. Not bad actually for the price. Most of the stuff is in this Indonesian cuisine actually. We do have some waffles and omelets, omelets but uh, no complaints there. Everything is delicious. I just try, I can't eat like rice in the morning, that's all. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a lot of exploring today because I'm still jet lagged. And so, I'm going to continue sleeping. I couldn't sleep until, uh, I don't know, five in the morning. 